Welcome to Daily Disney Dose, your ultimate Disney update. In today's episode, we'll delve into the latest happenings around Disneyland, from cultural celebrations and restaurant revamps to legal battles and special events. Whether you're a local or a Disney fan from afar, keep your ears tuned for exciting updates, insider peaks, and all the enchantment that Disney has to offer. From the jubilation of gospel traditions during Black History Month to the bittersweet closing of an iconic eatery, there's a world of news to cover. So let's embark on our magical journey through the wonders of Disneyland and beyond. Stay with us for an episode packed with Disney delights and discoveries. As February unfolds, Disneyland marks Black History Month with an enriching celebration of culture and heritage. The park's Celebrate Soulfully event encapsulates an experience that harmoniously blends the vibrancy of gospel music with the savory delights of soul food, accompanied by the stirring expressions of live artistry. Returning for another year, the Celebrate Gospel musical tribute takes center stage at the Fantasyland Theater. The Sundays of February 17th and 24th will shine as Marvin Sapp and Tasha Cobbs headline two awe-inspiring performances. They'll be joined by an array of Southern California's community choirs, offering visitors a reverberating blend of melodies that resonate deeply within the soul. As evening descends, the downtown Disney stage transforms into a jubilant celebration of sound, featuring genres from gospel to soul and even the nostalgic rhythms of doo-wop. Lined up for every night of the month are bands like the Singers of Soul and Apollo Bebop, each bringing their unique flair to the party. Live jazz and contemporary tunes will fill the lounges of Disneyland's hotels, setting the mood for a truly immersive experience. From the Lobby Lounge to the Hearthstone Lounge, musical duos and trios like Carmel Helene and Roderick Chambers will serenade guests with melodies that tell stories and transport you through time. And let's not forget the culinary experiences awaiting your palate. Disneyland will serve a selection of dishes inspired by Black History Month. With offerings such as deviled eggs and pickled vegetables at Café Orléans and a succulent BBQ brisket dinner platter at Riverbell Terrace, your taste buds are in for a gourmet journey. Among the unique activities, anticipate the extraordinary talents of chalk artist Marcella Sweat as she brings to life black heritage chalk murals, adding vibrancy and color to downtown Disney from February 21st to 23rd. Celebrate Soulfully at Disneyland is not just another event. It's a heartfelt homage to the traditions, art, and flavors that shape the essence of black culture. It's where every guest gets to partake in the embodiment of soul, creativity, and community throughout the month of love and remembrance. Join the festivities and be a part of a narrative that weaves together the threads of history, heritage, and harmony. As we turn to the evolving culinary scene at Downtown Disney, a long-standing member bids adieu, Tortilla Joe's. After 20 years of spicing up our palates with signature margaritas and tableside guacamole, the beloved restaurant is slated to close its doors on March 31st. But as one chapter ends, a fresh one begins. The closure of Tortilla Joe's clears the way for a trio of new dining ventures from Michelin-starred chef Carlos Gaetan. Get ready for Paseo, a restaurant promising vibrant Mexican cuisine. Centrico, a courtyard bar that will be an oasis of refreshment. And Tiendita, a convenient grab-and-go stand for on-the-move park visitors. Opening this spring, these establishments are sure to bring new flavors and experiences that ignite the senses. But the gourmet revolution doesn't stop there. An ambitious array of 11 new dining concepts is set to elevate downtown Disney's dining repertoire further. From the multicultural fare anticipated at the Parkside Market Food Hall, Think Soul Sisters Korean Bowls, Gigi's Chicken Shop's Hearty Sandwiches, to a Caribbean kick from Sip and Sonder, to the anticipation of a rooftop bar that will offer parkgoers a place to unwind under the California sky, the transformation is truly exhilarating. Additional highlights on the culinary horizon include Din Tai Fung's well-loved soup dumplings and noodles, a much-anticipated Porto's Bakery, and an all-new Earl of Sandwich shop complete with a rooftop pub. Disneyland's gastronomic landscape is undeniably on the cusp of a revolution. As we say our goodbyes to Tortilla Joe's, a door opens to an inspiring future, promising an epicurean journey that will continue to delight Disneyland enthusiasts for years to come. Keep your forks ready, fellow foodies. Downtown Disney is about to serve up some spectacular new dining experiences. Puck enthusiasts and Disney fans alike, mark your calendars for an epic convergence of sports and entertainment at Disney California Adventure Park. 
That's right, we're celebrating the Anaheim Ducks 30th anniversary with Anaheim Ducks Days, a two-day event that promises to be nothing short of spectacular. On February 22nd, the festivities kick off with a cavalcade along the park's parade route, leading from Paradise Gardens Park to Hollywood Land, featuring some of the current shining stars of the Anaheim Ducks roster. And let me tell you, there's nothing quite like the synergy of Disney magic and the electric excitement of professional hockey players revving up the crowd. But that's just the beginning. The following day, a legacy celebration cavalcade will showcase esteemed Anaheim Ducks alumni. Imagine the thrill of seeing the heroes of the ice who have carved their names into sports history, now waving back at you as they parade through the park. And for NHL aficionados, here's a once-in-a-lifetime chance. On February 23rd, brace yourself for the opportunity to snap a photograph with the revered Stanley Cup registered trademark. That's right, the Stanley Cup, one of the most coveted trophies in sports, will be making a special appearance for a select time at the World of Color viewing area in Paradise Gardens Park. Both days, we will dive into the past, present, and future of the Ducks with an exclusive display of jerseys and memorabilia in Hollywood land. This is your chance to get an up-close look at the Ducks' storied 30 years on the ice. And because it wouldn't be a visit to Disney without special treats, Anaheim Ducks Days will also feature limited-time specialty menu items to tantalize your taste buds. Indulge in the rich chocolate mousse cake from Schmoozies, or opt for something savory with the chicken fried steak burrito from Studio Catering Company. Of course, you won't want to miss out on the exclusive Anaheim Ducks Days merchandise, honoring 30 years of Ducks hockey. Whether you're a diehard fan or a collector of unique Disney experiences, this is the perfect chance to grab some gear to commemorate the event. So lace up your skates, metaphorically speaking, and come join us for Anaheim Ducks Days at Disney California Adventure Park. It'll be a power play of sportsmanship and family fun you won't want to miss. In a substantial turn of events, Disney has intensified its legal standoff with Governor Ron DeSantis by filing a notice of appeal. This move comes in response to a Florida federal judge's decision to dismiss Disney's lawsuit, which had asserted that DeSantis was retaliating against the company's protected speech. The judge ruled that Disney lacked the standing to sue, a determination that seemed to resonate with the governor's perspective. This appeal underscores Disney's determination to challenge what they perceive to be a politically motivated encroachment on their rights. They argue that leaving such actions unchallenged could set a concerning precedent, essentially giving states the green light to manipulate their authority as a means of penalizing corporations for expressing political viewpoints that differ from those held by current government leadership. The legal tussle began after Disney voiced its opposition to legislation, dubbed by critics as the Don't Say Gay Bill drawing DeSantis's ire. Following this, DeSantis signed a bill leading to the establishment of the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District, effectively supplanting Disney's former municipal control over the area around its theme parks. The repercussions of these changes are not simply confined to boardrooms and courts. They have the potential to reshape the business and operational landscape of one of the world's most beloved entertainment companies. Should Disney succeed, they may be able to reclaim some of their former authority and influence, at least within the boundaries of their sprawling resorts. However, if the challenge fails, it would affirm the state's ability to overtake corporate governance functions, signaling a new era in the relationship between private entities and government control. As the story unfolds, eyes will remain fixed on this high-stakes clash and its far-reaching implications for corporate governance and freedom of expression in America. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Disney Dose, your ultimate Disney update. It's been a pleasure bringing you all the exciting updates and stories from around Disney's magical world. Remember to stay engaged, informed, and enchanted. Until we meet again, keep the magic alive in your hearts and minds. Have a Disney-tastic day!